Hey, what's up? Episode 23. Got an awesome, awesome episode for you today. I'm really excited for this one. I am trying at You and Me Brews Mango IPA. I don't, I don't necessarily want to give. Maybe he doesn't want me to give him his real name in real life. So we'll just call him Roy. Anyone get that reference from Die Hard? Die Hard, maybe. Yeah. So let's call him Roy. At you and me brews mango IPA. This is his first homebrew beer. The Pilsner. I will. Uh, I will update the Pilsner in a second. Um, his first homebrew beer. We're gonna try. It's a mango IPA. He went fruit on this action. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. So uh, that's gonna be good. And then we're gonna play episode three of the Walking Dead uh, game, New Frontier. This game has been awesome. A lot of fun. And uh, update for Rich, uh, for RGTC275, uh, the Pilsner is doing well, still lagering. It's down to about 42 degrees, so I'm lowering the degrees, you know, one degree a day, so which is good. So we're slowly lagering it. It's going to be lagering for at least another half month. So looking forward to that. That's going to be great. Uh, it's, it's awesome. So... Uh, yeah, so that's it. So I'm excited. Let's get started right away. Let's try this beer. Now he so he told me that when he opened his beer last time, it kind of exploded on him. So I, I don't know if that's because it he shook it a lot by accident. But we're still gonna be very wary about this beer. It may explode on us. So let's uh, open it very carefully. Ooh, carbonation. I hear the tsh sound. Oh yeah, but it did not explode, which is good. No explosion. Which is awesome. Let's pour this. Here we go. Pouring it down. Looking fun. Yeah. Looking nice in the glass. Alright, here we go. Almost there. Nice head. Nice kind of nat brown head. Very cloud. It's a Kind of a brown, very dark brown, little and a cloudy beer IPA. There's a lot of uh, foaming in action going on here, which is awesome. That's kind of cool, interesting. Let's give it a smell. Let's give it a smell. Mmm, fruity, fruity on the nose. Since it's a mango IPA, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna. Sm I'm smelling. Um, Kind of like a citrusy orange. Not too much hop action. I'm getting a lot, of, but I mean, maybe it's yeah, yeah, fruity, floral, a little on the floral side too. But I would say on the citrus side of um, the nose. Good. Let's give this a sm uh, taste. Interesting. Kind of a, uh, hold on. A light to medium body. Very, um, I don't know if I'm getting a lot of mango. Um, I'm getting a lot of, uh, kind of a little bit of yeast, malty. I'm getting a, this, this, by the way, this carbonation in this head is like, extremely frothy and thick. It's kind of cool. I'm not getting a lot of hops. Uh, not a lot of hop action. So it's kind of getting more of the malty kind of taste. Uh, yeah, not getting too many... Um, yeah, not the same thing I'm getting in the nose. So the nose is very different from the taste, I would say. This, um, what's this, like, slight vinegary taste, I would say, maybe a little bit. I'm 
in a, and I would say slightly on the sour side, kind of like a, one of those uh, saison or what's that? Uh, oh, I'm blanking right now with the name of the beer. Uh, when the when you open ferment the beer, has that kind of a taste? That kind of a beer taste? Interesting, because it fermented, yeah, and it kind of, uh, yeah. So I'm getting, getting a little bit of the yeast taste. It's cool. You know what? I would say it's his first beer, and honestly, my, uh, this is beer is better than my first beer was. I remember my first beer being like water, like water. So this is actually kind of for a first beer. He went all out. He was like, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna go put fruit in it. Yeah. So he was braver than I was. So I give him a lot of applause for that. At you and me brews, I give him a lot of applause, uh, a lot of credit for that. It's uh, yeah, it's because I mine was watery and uh, you know it, fruit and beer for home brewing very difficult because you have to sanitize the fruit and every you, it's almost like to do extra a little bit extra sanitizing in the home brewing because you have to like the surfaces that you're cutting the fruit on have to be sanitized. It has to be. You have to put, you know, the, you know, the stuff that so it doesn't get wild yeasties and gross things in your beer. I remember doing with a with a watermelon, and the watermelon like came out really sour when I made like a, a watermelon lager. It was really unfortunate. It just didn't. It tasted like uh, butt, like butt, like ass. So it's uh, this is much better tasting than that. So I applaud him again. He got the fruit down a lot better than mine. Um, mangoes. I mean, that's a uh, that's an interesting thing for a beer. Fun, it's really interesting. It's cool, um, but yeah, fruit is. I, I don't. I'm gonna have to wait a little while until I do home brewing on uh, fruit again because, yeah, that, that it, it kind of. I have to do a little bit more research too because it just when I remember, it just kind of. I felt like it was hard to control that variable, so yeah. But other than that, yeah, pills are news. I still haven't brewed my my other beers yet. I've been kind of holding up. I got a lot of my plate lately, so. I'm going to do that when I make sure I, I know I have time so I'm not like rushing it and half-assing it. It's going to be the bitter next. I'm going to make the bitter next. I'm going to go for about 4% alcohol this time. So that's what we're going to do. Just to you know, kick it up a notch, make the malts you know, you know, know, soak in the water a little bit more, get it nice and a little thicker tasting, you know, because I felt like it was a little too watery. Yeah. So awesome. Thank you, at me, you, me, brews. Love it. And now I say let's get started with this game. Who's ready? I'm ready. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Let's do this. Let's get right to the game. It's 9.09. Live, live, live after 9.09. Yeah. Hold on. Let's adjust the screens. At the mouse. We got pretzels today. Plenty of pretzels. I factor in my pretzels because I factor in my macros. And I just dropped a macro. No! I just dropped a macro. All right. That's a weird picture. It looks like fake. No, uh -huh. yeah, it's getting good. Music reminds me of um, Stranger Things. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we're so close right now. Even though, like, he, our dad abandoned me. Javi. Oh. I'm glad you're okay. Ooh, yeah. Are you glad? Beat you to it. Much better now. I'm always okay. You know me. I'm always okay. Yeah. So I actually know how to do this. It's actually up here, but for some reason, because that's the Big Dipper. Wait, where's the Big Dipper? Actually, oh wait, that's the Big Dipper. That's the Big Dipper. So that technically is the North Star. That is not the North Star because it's supposed to be. It, it, there's a direct line that goes from there to there, and that's the Little Dipper. That's the North Star. That's it. Oh fuck! Oh shit! E, damn! Oh fuck! Oh Q Q! Ah! E, let's go! Come on! Oh shit! Back and pause. Sorry. Is it Clementine? It's Clementine! Nice, Clementine. You should be more careful with this. Aww. Yay! Get in that way. It could be full of walkers. There's only one way to know for sure. Oh man, this thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up! 
Yep. Thank you. Yep. For God's sake, Hobby! Get a goddamn hold of yourself! Alright, what's that? Doing? Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? Let's see, where do I throw it? I guess I throw it there, huh? What the fuck? Shit, we need to get the fire crew or that shit could burn down the block. Q! 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 Keep! Run! <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? This is- I'm like so confused, like who to believe- Oh, great, it's over now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. This is insane. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm so confused right now. Like, what's going on? There's so many moving parts. Like, we're getting out of here. No, we're staying. Like, I'm staying with the brother. No, we're going to go out with the girl. No. Like, it was Joan. No, it was David. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was crazy. You know, I, I, honestly, it kind of goes back to the fact that your brother, like, did nothing to help you out. And they, like... He was like on their side kicking you out. I mean, yeah, he gave you a place to go and a place to meet up or whatever, but I mean, at the end of the day, the guy was not loyal to you. So it's like, yeah, I mean, and now they're about to like die and get involved with their pol politics and drama. So let's get the hell out of here. I appreciate you watching. Uh, once again, I hope you're enjoying this. I know it's like kind of like not as fun because you're not like d deciding. But I think, I mean, it's almost like worth playing it again at some point, you know, to uh, be like, which one do we do? Choose that one. Okay. And, you know, making that kind of choice. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. It's like almost another Walking Dead kind of thing to watch while we wait for the next season to come out. You know? It's cool. Oh, man. That was Nutters. Nutters! Yeah. Cool. Wow. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Have a good night. I'm going to go watch a bit of the Mets game. I got to learn the lines for the play I'm in. Thanks for watching. Peace.